Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and we are starting a new year program, uh, starting a new year with a new vision and with um, a really exciting new program. The program is called You Are a Perfect Body, so there's a few different ways to spell it and look at it. Um, you are perfect is part of it. You are a perfect body is a part of it. Also your perfect body. We are going to focus as usual on a more building peace with your body approach. Of course it will be physical. That is kind of part of uh, a lot of my classes. There is a lot of, a, it, there is a physical element to them because we are physical beings and we need some challenge physically in life in order to feel good, to have optimal hormones, etc. But also we have to build an approach um, that allows us to be in peace with ourselves, to see ourselves as a perfection already, as a perfect being already, as a perfect body already. Uh, adjusting our inner mirror, how we see what we see in the mirror, very important. Uh, and we'll cover subjects throughout this series, such as uh, set point, uh, not exercising to um, burn calories, not exercising to deserve a dinner, all of those things that the dad culture um, unfortunately created as a, as a brought on the table. So a lot of you know, good things came out of the diet culture, such as eating whole foods and processed foods, etc., not eating uh, chemicals, etc., that it's all well intended. But some things got, you know, taken out of context or went a little too far. And um, a lot of people, especially younger women, suffer with um, eating disorders or body um, image uh, disorders, etc. So we're going to try to. Um, contemplate a lot of these subjects that I'm mentioning uh, and approach them from a healthy hand, a standpoint. How to eat uh, is obviously a part of uh, this, the, the discussion, although we're going to focus on the physical uh, fitness element of it more so than anything else. Um, but of course, being uh, at peace with our food and nourishing the body enough, not restricting, not cutting calories, those things always lead obviously to overeating, overindulging, too much focus on the food, etc. We do need to nourish the body, exercise the body and accept the body. And I believe that balance and peace can be achieved, of course, over time. An important aspect here is to not lie to ourselves because if we lie to ourselves, our subconscious mind knows it. So we can't really tell ourselves things without really working towards them and without learning to sit with ourselves. Uh, to just say, I accept myself, but not to do the work, the, the steps that lead to that acceptance, self-acceptance, uh, really doesn't yield the results we would want it to yield because we are still not in a, in a place of peace and also digging deeper with getting to know the self more, being able to sit with the self. So those things do take time, but that's okay. That's the beauty of it. Life, things do take work. It's, it's, we can't just, you know, click and, and have things uh, immediately. Most things are a process, but that's the beauty of it. Because if we could achieve everything we wanted to achieve right away, then I do think that life would be boring. So things do take work, but we should look at it uh, from the position of embracing the work, being thankful, grateful for the work, appreciative that we have this work to do, this journey uh, to be on, this path to walk. And um, the results are always going to be worth it if we have put work. Things that we've worked towards are so much more um, um, pleasant to us as experience than things we just achieved with no work at all. We, 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 they were just granted to us. So uh, those are the subjects, those are uh, some of the subjects we'll cover this month while achieving our perfect body or how we perceive it, right? So because you already are perfect and we're starting from that standpoint and unpeeling also a few of the trauma layers, a few of the anxieties that make us, for example, binge it or 
um, have uh, self-harming behaviors. So we're impelling, we're sitting with the selves, we're able and willing to face ourselves, to, to really sit with the self and meet the self. And a lot of our traumas and anxieties do dissolve, do peel away and, and flake off and dissolve and so forth. Uh, of course, some things take a lot more work than others, but you know, piece by piece, we'll address ourselves, we, the layers of the self. So that is uh, the subject for January, your perfect body and you're perfect and the classes are going to be hit, shorter, no excuses, um, a combination of yoga and high intensity interval training, a lot of core, a lot of cardio, a lot of strength. Some of the classes will have um, upper body and um, upper body and computer muscles focus. So, you know, the shoulders and the neck and all the muscles we use when we sit at the desk uh, for extended periods of time. That was requested by Mauro and I think it's a perfect request. We may uh, bleed this into February as well. Uh, I'll include this type of classes because I think that's a situation for most people right now. A lot of the uh, computer muscles get tired and sore and stiff and so forth. So we'll build strength and flexibility there in some of the classes uh, uh, with that approach. And the whole entire program will be on my website, but I will try to come onto YouTube at least twice a month. YouTube is a long subject that I don't wanna and don't wish to go into right now. And there is, of course, you may know there has been uh, for a lot of us creators an issue here. So we were kind of in a way forced out of it, uh, but I still don't wanna give up on the community here. So I will be here, we, I will be bringing, um, I will try for two classes a month at least to bring here, sometimes more, sometimes less, but about that. So you will still get free classes from me and the membership, I, I try to make it very um, affordable for absolutely everyone. It is about, I, I'm running a special $10 a month or $100 a year. So I think that's very approachable, but if you cannot afford that, you can message me and I can offer you um, if you're in a situation, I can offer you a sliding deal. So it is something that I find it that people that commit to the membership are actually more committed to their practice. Things that kind of flow towards you uh, a little more in excess, people take them for granted and don't really take as much advantage out of it. So sometimes even signing up for a membership, I don't want to sell it because I will give you free stuff. So it's not a sale, but sometimes really committing to, uh, to a website or to a program or to something really um, makes you more responsible and you, um, you, you do commit more. So if you want to join, I'll, uh, I'll be very happy to uh, join uh, my membership. It has going towards thousand classes uh, on there. So I think it's really, really um, a lot of value on there on the website, classes for every, every really body part, mental focus, etc. But also, as you know, there is a lot on here. So you, you really are covered no matter what you choose. All right, long intro in the upcoming classes, we're gonna focus on different things such as, um, such as not punishing the body or accepting the body or perfection or etc. set point. All of these are going to be dedicated to different classes, but today is the intro. Interval training and you're perfect already. You're pure perfection. All right, let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. Starting with hopping in place. You can even do semi-high heels. Start to connect with the core, open the chest, drop the shoulders back and down. Let's hop on the outside of the mat, warming up. If you need longer warm-ups, do that inside the mat. Crisscross or scissors. 
bring your arms in. All right, in and out, jumping jacks. You can clap. All right, clap above the head. Knee taps. And step back, knee up. Step back, kind of like a jump lunge, but the warm up version of it. Opposite side. Twist jumps. Pay attention to your breath. Deep breathing. Soft knees, you don't want to straighten the knees completely or lock. All right, and if you need to do the warm up one more time, do so. I'm gonna get started. And as you calm down, check with your exhalations. Can you do a really long exhalation when you're in a, in a state after cardiovascular, after cardiovascular work? If you can, then you have control over your parasympathetic nervous system. So. One more, you can keep moving slightly here on the mat. Good, and keep, keep at it. The more we exercise, the more we actually improve our sympathetic, but also parasympathetic nervous system, of course. All right, at the front, let's reach side to side, side side. The vision for today is peace with the body and a perfect body. So whatever that means symbolically to you, um, just imagine it and set it aside. Don't keep grinding at it. Don't keep going at it. Like let it work in your in subconscious ways. A lot of manifestation works that way. You just set the intention and then you don't um, keep going and grinding at it all day long. So imagine perfect body, it will be a feel probably more so than a visual thing. So how you relate to yourself or how it feels to be at peace, to be at your perfect state of health. Of course, we physically do need that in order to feel good. So experience it as a feeling. as a state. Great. And from here, set it aside. Let it be somewhere. It, it will work in your subconscious. It will work in, in away from the conscious mind, but it will work towards, a, you will work towards that, that vision. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog. And you can walk in place, move in place, figure eight with the hips. Inhale the right leg up and you can shift tippy toes on the left side back to the heel. One, two, three, four, five. Step it through. High lunge. Twist. Look behind. Soften. And 
and vinyasa. Up dog. Down dog. Take the other leg and again tippy toes, shifting forward and again. A few more and step it through. High lunge, twist, and come back up, Vinyas. Down dog. Plank. And we're gonna start with 10 plank jumps. Feet behind the hands and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Step it through. Right foot through, right arm up. Twist. Side plank. Knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, plank jumps. One, two, Ten. Step the left foot through. Open. Left arm up. Twist. Side plank. Knee tucks. Plank. Lower down onto your belly. Lift. Spider man's. If in class behind, open the chest, lift and plank. Here, combination begins. Take your left leg up and we're going to jump the right foot in and <laughs> right arm to left knee tuck. One leg jump. Duck. You have to focus. Three. Four. I woke up to this exercise in my head. Five. Six. Seven. To the belly, class behind lift. That's your rest. Slow exhalations and hands underneath the shoulders. Plank. All right, take the right leg up. Let's go. Jump. And here we're gonna have knee tuck, left elbow, right knee. Two, focus. Three. Four. Five. 
five. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Bring your knees in, clasp behind, open. Again, calm down the breath. Down dog. Take the right leg up. Step into a high lunge. Exhale behind, clasp, open. Lower down. Come back up, high lunge, vinyasa. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, clasp, lower down. Come back up and plank. Take the left leg up and here we're going to jump the right foot to the left hand or behind the left hand and back so it's a cross plank jump and we are going to, from once you step back in, we're going to do same, same left arm to left knee tuck. So you really have to focus on your balance. And that's one rep. Two. Three. Four, five, and I'm taking a small break. And let's continue. Six, seven, Eight, almost there, nine, and <laughs> last one, and take a break, sitting on the heels, you can stretch. One more time. And opposite side. Plank, spread the fingers wide open, really focus on placing your weight in between your, in the base of it, every finger between the index and the thumb, the pad. Left leg on the ground, right leg up, jump across, and two, focus, three, you really can be anywhere else right now, four, five, 
सिक्स अगली हफिंग एंड पफिंग सेवन एट आई एम कमिंग ऑफ ऑफ वेल ऑफ एंड यू कैन टेल एट एंड ऑलमोस्ट देर नाइन एंड लास्ट वन टेन एंड Take a break. Sit between your heels. If that's too much, you can bring a block or a pillow underneath your bum and focus on relaxing the breath, especially the exhalations. down dog walk your feet to the front forward fold inhale come all the way up to standing last interval it's not a long workout today bam bam done bring the breath to calm as if nothing has transpired take lunge position or jump lunge position and we're going to go right leg forward 1 2 3 hands on the floor and shifting the weight onto the front foot we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Come up. One, two, three. Hands on the floor. Jump. One, two, three. One, two, three. Continue with the same. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jump one, two, three. One, two, three. Building the perfect <laughs> endurance and strength. One, three. Opposite side. and we're going to go into twist left knee on the floor right foot down inhale reach exhale twist and look behind you changing either in a fancy way or just change sides now a little bit of abs i'm going to use a block but it is only optional if you have it you squeeze you squeeze the block between your between your thighs above the knees lean back and let's go side to side lay down and we're going to do kind of in between a crunch and the pilates 100 so leaning forward with an open chest shoulders back and down but with the block so let's go pull the belly in mola banda Whew. 
rest. Deep, controlled breath. That's how we train the parasympathetic. In challenging situations when we do endurance training, strength training, we also focus on the breath. Let's do one more set, one, two. A third set. A few bridge pumps we threw without the block again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and supine twist. Change. And we're done. Lay back down in Shavasana or legs up the wall and just allow yourself to melt into the mat. You can bring yourself optional back to your perfect body. So we are coming from the assumption that the body is already perfect. So when we say perfect body is not your future body but it is already the blueprint of your body, what the body is. And if you are the type of mind that perceives imperfections, also understand that imperfections are part of the perfection because that's the areas of growth where the soul can unfold, where we can perfect the soul. We're here to perfect the soul. And the body is an expression of of the perfection of the soul, of the ultimate perfection of the soul, once we're moved through the journey. So perceive that perfection first and foremost, and understand that the imperfections are the areas of growth where we can unfold. Have gratitude for them. Have gratitude for the imperfections or the areas that you're asked to work in. Accept the body in its beauty. We don't want to be at war with ourselves. We want to find peace. We don't want the mind to run the show. The mind can be simply put crazy. The mind is not very wise. However, we do have soul wisdom that is a, a mix of intuition and deeper knowing. We have wisdom within. Once we go a little deeper than the mind level, the mind level of thought, there we find a lot of beauty, peace, love. And as we achieve peace with ourselves, that's what we give to the world. Very important. It's part of our service. So perceiving that perfection as is. And take a moment to admire that perfection, that is the human design. The human design and also how everything, karma and everything, how everything works in uh, with such deep order in it. In essence, we're not allowed to veer off, off of the path too much because we get sick or 
something happens. So a lot of the built-in imperfections are actually part of the genius design that keeps us on our path. It is part of the divinity, the divine path. Allowing yourself to really observe, appreciate. Love the perfection within the body. To have gratitude, appreciation for it. And as we commit, we commit to a path of service, service to humanity and also love for humanity and for our own body and self. And giving from our own beautiful perfection, it's where we really built so that we can give. Stay here and just for a few moments, observe that perfection within yourself, within your body, even within your physical form, or your spiritual body. You can observe every layer and level of it. With absolute gratitude, we build from that gratitude, we create the new, we can create a brand new path from that gratitude. And what a way to start the year with gratitude and really appreciating what we have and the beauty that we're experiencing. Sometimes we don't notice it, but we're constantly immersed in beauty. Embrace that beauty, embrace your beauty. And maybe swim and dance in it for a few moments and I'll see you with my next class. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.